Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for choosing this video. In this episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to untie your braids carefully, guys. I'm pretty sure that you guys always ask yourself, is this a way to untie your braids correctly? Well, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys. And the tools I'm going to be using are rattletail comb and also a lot of coconut oil, guys. <laughs> so um, I'm going to be uh, taking the way these beads really careful, guys, because I think that if you take them away um, fast, you would definitely break your hair off, guys. So definitely there's a really good method and i don't use any scissors to take away these um these bands i do these rubber bands i do take them away carefully one by one and i don't break it off either because not sometimes it would um it would um pull your hair and that will break off your hair so Definitely by doing this method, it will take a little longer, I know, but definitely it will secure your hair not to lose, not to shed your hair so much. And so, and when is the time to take away your braids? Um, it's time when it's time is when you notice that your hair like mine it's super messy in the top and that doesn't look good and yeah and so i have already three weeks by using this hairstyle and so i was like mm, let me take it out and so when your hair is really messy like that it's better to take it off because if not your hair your loose hair will definitely tie and make knots on top <laughs> so now I am going to be removing them one by one like I told you before and so when I remove them one by one it would definitely secure that my hair would not fall off so there you have it and so now to untie them that's the second part that's the harder part <laughs> so what I'm gonna be using is my coconut oil because the coconut oil or any oil that you have at home would definitely help you lose those knots um, it would, and it will be a lot easier to untie them so correct and I am not going to be using my finger or anything um, to on to uh, starting from the bottom because if you notice my hair from the bottom is really small so definitely do not use your fingers at this time because your hair will break off So my recommendation is to use one of those ratchet tail uh, comb, right? This one right here, this rat, and because it has a pointy and it definitely helps you. It will help you to untie them easily. Another recommendation is when you place your ratchet tail comb, point, the pointy part inside the braid in each hole, try to do them one by one and also by doing this step slowly with patient guys because that will definitely guarantee you not to break your hair off now if you skip and then if you present what like what just happened that it has like a knot just stop what you're doing and and untie it with your fingers because that will definitely guarantee that your hair doesn't break off I do want to give a special shout out to all those people that just recently have subscribed to my channel and also for those people that are giving me your support and also commenting and viewing my videos. Thank you so much for your support guys. It means a lot. Another recommendation that I definitely would like to give you guys like a quick like a nice tip is that when you're doing your own braids without using any extensions try to do them thicker um, because i seen a lot of girls doing these mistakes that they use skinny braids like super super skinny braids and i know yeah they look good but at the end it will damage your hair and they will fall off always try to use thick hair because it's uh thick braids sorry thick braids because those thick braids would definitely not break so much, you know. And now, it, when you untie them really good, well, you, like you see, I have a little shed. And that's okay because, you know, 
um my hair was braided for like three weeks and yeah you are always gonna have some shed but when if you don't want to have excessive shedding try in this process not to use any comb keep using your fingers because your fingers will definitely help you untie those waves because your hair is still wavy because of the braids and you still have those patterns so do it with the whole entire hair like you see there and it would definitely not help you break your hair off now when you use a comb in this process right now it would definitely you will lose a lot of hair why because your hair right now it has a lot of waves a lot of and also not only that you also have gels you also have um dirt right that is tied to your hair right now and so the comb or the brush would create when you pass it through with all that that i just mentioned it would just create knots and you don't want that so with your fingers it will definitely it will help you lose all the hair that is damaged and it will definitely eliminate with your fingers you will eliminate some dirt some of the gels that are tied to your hair and and, would, and it will definitely open more your hair because it has those wave those patterns of the braids now i'm super excited guys because while doing this process with care i didn't shed a lot so guys i totally totally recommend you guys this all these steps or in all these tips because i know that it would definitely help you and if you see me shedding a little bit don't scare don't panic trust me it's totally normal for me and it's okay because um once you have your hair braided like i mentioned before your hair is gonna shed why because um when you're sleeping right and you i am the type of person that i move a lot when i sleep and so that causes me to break off and even though i use a scarf on top of my hair to to control right it, sometimes it fall off and yeah in you know and that would definitely create a lot of breakage on top and and i would lose a lot of strength you know sometimes your 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 braids are too tight and then it will break off as well I, that's why i do not use i do not do tight so tight um because that would definitely will break my hair off and it will lose my follicles so that is something that you should wash out when doing your braids try not to do them so tight so your follicles will not be loosened and it will fall off because you don't want to have you don't want to be bald and, and that's what i noticed with a lot of girls that when they do tight hair it will fall off so much and yeah and that happens a lot and so yeah that's why i don't use a comb at this stage because my hair in the middle still have those patterns and i don't want to create um i don't want to create a lot of breakage so that is something that you should be um taking care of and now with when you present one of these knots do not use any comb also try to loose it out with your fingers and it would definitely help you untie those knots for you don't have a lot of breakage guys i hope you find this video very very useful and i hope it helps you a lot thank you so much for your support and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and for more others hello guys thank you for watching please don't leave and subscribe for more videos and give me a thumbs up if you have any comments leave them in the box down below you can also follow me on my social media bye for now